All right, check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We just got into Osaka, Japan. We're on a world noodle tour and today we're bringing you for an extreme street food adventure and we're gonna go for one of the top bowls of ramen in the city. Let's check it out. This is it, Osaka. Home to some of the best street food in Japan. And today we're bringing you in deep for four incredible street foods, including the ultra deadly Japanese fugu puffer fish. So make sure to watch all the way until the end to enjoy them all. Let's eat. And this is it right here, guys. Deadly fish for breakfast. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, fugu. Fugu, fugu. Fugu. Wow, and you can actually see there's also big long eel in here as well. So there's eel and then there's these fugu. Poisonous puffer fish. Look at that. Wow. And we're going to get the biggest one and have it in a hot pot as well as with sashimi. Oh, oh. <laughs> and there it is. Wow. Oh, it's, a, it's soft. It's a definite puffy feeling. Oishi? 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 Very, very delicious. Very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this is deadly first meal of the day. <laughs> oh, here's the slicing. I die. Oh. So there's a gland inside here that you don't want any of the liquid inside to infuse into the flesh because you will die very quickly. I was reading online that six people die every year from eating fugu and I'm a little nervous because while it is safe and all these chefs have to train and take a course, there is still definitely a risk. There's this big bubble that's full of air which is what makes it all puffed up. So you can see in the back there, he's just pulling. Oh, that's the poison. Duku. Duku. Poison. <laughs> and this is Mr. Ken who's been working here for 30 years slicing up this fugu. So I think we're in good hands. And just watching that whole experience of the puffing, the slicing, the throwing of that gland full of poison. So we just have to be confident that there was no juices seeping into the flesh, which I think looking at this scene here is pretty good. Oh, splatter. I just got a fugu facial of fugu juices and I think a little went into my mouth as well. And there it is. Oishi. Oishi. Oishi so. Very, very, very. Very delicious. <laughs> very, Oishi. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi. We're gonna try it up. Okay. Arigato. Sashimi style. Oh, sashimi. Okay. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, and here's the fugu hot pot. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh. Fugu skin. Fugu skin sashimi. Yes, yes. Wow. So we got a lot of different ways to eat the fugu here. I'm a little nervous. This is the sashimi, and I hope I make it through the day, guys. We got a lot of food to eat today, and on our world noodle journey, we're, we're on a two-year journey for noodles. We got one of the best bowls of ramen, if not the best coming up after this. So let's hope we make it through. Let's try it out. Mmm, oh! Wow, that is actually quite delicious. The fugu texture is just maybe slightly springy and soft. And when you dip it, this is actually a ponzu sauce. So it has a, a slight citrusiness to it. So it's really quite a simple and light fish. But combined with that ponzu, it's really nice. And we can also dip it in some chili. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so let's go into that hot pot next, guys. Let's take a nice couple chunks. And he said we should just put it in and do five slow turns. So one, two, three. Four, five, okay, there it is. And then you just dip it in to the shabu shabu sauce. Let's go for that. Mmm, oh yeah, really satisfying. That is really just elegant, light, bringy, soft. Oishi so, oishi. I'm still alive, I don't feel any numbness. I was a bit worried, but we made it through guys, and we're gonna finish all of this flesh and keep going for the rest of the day. Mmm, and you can see it's definitely worth it if you want to try a new delicacy. This is totally a unique experience in Japan. Mm. And then we're gonna go in for that skin. We got chili in there, green onion, no poison in here. This is expertly cut fugu skin sashimi. Let's try it out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's fatty, spicy, with the ponju sauce as well in there. Citrusy. And after trying all of these here, I find it hard to believe that this fish actually kills about six people per year. I'm feeling good. We're not gonna have to call an ambulance. We're not gonna have to visit the hospital. 
We made it through, guys. So out of all these, I'm having a hard time deciding what is the best. The sashimi is very delicious, but quite plain. The real kick is from that ponzu sauce. But this stock right here is so umami with the mushroom and the fugu aroma in there. It's thick, it's bold, yet it's smooth at the same time. Mmm. Oh. That is pure comfort. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> Amazing, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. And this has got to be one of the joys of food ranging, guys. Exploring for food right up ahead. I hear there's a famous yakisoba fried noodle joint. We are on a world noodle tour, so we're bringing you guys for a couple iconic bowls of noodles here. One is the fried noodle, and then later this afternoon, we're going for number one ramen in Osaka. Let's go try out those fried noodles first. And here we are, guys. Fried noodles here at Mizuno Okonomiyaki. So we just got the menu. I think we're gonna get uh, Iko seafood mix. Yes, thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. And Iko modanyaki. Thank you. And yeah, we're just going upstairs now, guys. Very Konnichiwa. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Fried noodle heaven. So we just sat down, guys. We're gonna get a fried noodle yakisoba and we're gonna get a okonomiyaki. Wow, so we got a pork, shrimp, cabbage, egg mixture. And that's gonna go right on the grill. Oh wow, you can see all the shrimp, the pork, and the egg is all coming together. Oh, and then look at this guy's noodle right on top. It's like a noodle mountain on top of a shrimp pancake. So you can see guys, this is one of the noodles on our world noodle tour. We got that base cabbage shrimp pork patty and then we've got these fried noodles on top and we're gonna be adding in a bunch of sauce on top of this and I can't wait to try it out. We're just adding on some bonito flakes. Bonito! Wow! Oh the flip! The iconic flip! Look at that crispy layer! World noodle tour! Wow! Look at this guys, two noodle dishes right here. We got fried noodles, thick fried noodles with a fried egg on top. Looks like it's half done so it's really nice and gooey. We've got seaweed flakes on top, pickled ginger, green onions, squid, shrimp, and we can just mix that egg in. Oh, look at that, the egg yolk. So we're gonna get a nice bite. These are fried Japanese noodles. And that's gonna be the first bite of fried noodles in Japan, guys, the yakisoba right from one of the most popular restaurants for yakisoba in Osaka. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's all about the ginger in there, guys. That pickled ginger gives it a nice, almost slight spice. And then the sauce inside the noodles, maybe a little sweet. And then of course, the noodles are charred up so it's a little smoky. You gotta come to the source to try these. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the sweet sauce we're just adding on. Wow, look at that. Mustard and mayonnaise and the sweet okonomiyaki sauce. Wow, that is a noodle dish for a world noodle tour. And more sweet sauce. Just look at that, guys. We've literally like seared the bottom of the noodles. So they've got a brown, crunchy, smoky layer doused it in a sweet glaze, okonomiyaki sauce. And we're just gonna cut into it like a pizza, the pizza noodle. And what I really love is how it kind of sears off on the bottom, so it's gonna be crispy as well. Oh yeah. Look at the bottom there, it's totally crisp up. We have to try that out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow guys, it is so mayo-y. That's the defining feature. It's like saturated with mayo and that sweet, almost candy-like okonomiyaki sauce. It's really just like a pancake of noodles. That's a noodle pancake. The ramen is the highlight of Japan for me. But tasting this at an okonomiyaki joint just like this is really convincing me that there's other types of delicious noodles too in Japan. Mm. Wow, that was delicious, guys. Osaka is amazing, and we're going for more. And this is it, Osaka. We're just exploring around all day today, guys. And right up ahead, there's a spot Ting and I came to last time on our trip to Osaka that we didn't film that has some of the best street-style, home-style tempura. And this is it here, guys, the source of tempura. We're going in deep. 
to a local spot, the tempura, guys. It's some of the best food in Japan to try. And right up here, this is it. Konnichiwa. Arigatouzaimasu. Wow, look at this, guys. Little tempura bar. We've got a beautiful tempura set. We're gonna get the special deep fried bowl. It's got two shrimps, beef, conger eel, seasonal vegetables, rice cake, and a fish sausage. Tempura. Oishi. Oishi so. Wow, it's going right in. And we're just putting in some shrimp. Chef is gonna make us a beautiful meal today of tempura. So it's basically breaded, battered shrimp and eel and all types of good stuff that's gonna be in there. Wow, arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> and people are so friendly here in Osaka. And we're just covering it in that batter. Chef is a true expert here. So you can see we've got a big selection of tempura here, guys. We've got that conger eel, we've got shrimp, we've got a couple slices of fish, we got pepper and, oh, it's all in here. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. The bowls are almost ready now, guys. Chef is just pouring some sweet soy sauce on the rice and covering it in all that crispy, greasy tempura. It's gonna be really, really satisfying. Look at this, guys. We got our special bowl right there. Oh yeah, you can see there's so much going on there. We got two shrimps and beef and conger eel. We got seasonal vegetables and a rice cake as well as fish sausage. Oh, and we're just covering it in that light soy. So we just covered it in that soy and now we're just putting some seaweed flakes on it. Arigato gozaimasu. Guys, look at that. That's the pure greasy satisfaction in a bowl. He's actually covered it in a sweet soy sauce on two layers. We got the rice and the tempura. And just look at this big selection of tempura. We've got zucchini, we got pepper, shrimp. There's a beef, like a beef steak. We've got eggplant, fish, fish sausage, rice cake, and then look at that big chunk there. This is the conger eel. And we tried this last time we were in Osaka, and it's just so satisfying, guys. That sweet soy sauce with the greasy, almost sloppy filling tempura batter is what life's about. Let's try it out, guys. Mmm. Oh, that's the conger eel. Mmm. It's all about the extra filling batter combined with the sweet soy. Wow, and the flesh on that eel is very soft. And then, of course, the rice will just fill you up. It's really hard to have a bad meal in Japan. Anywhere you go, it's so good. Mmm! And then we can just go right in for one of those completely battered shrimp. Mmm! Let's try that out. Mmm! This is it, guys. You gotta come to Japan to eat. Eat the tempura, eat the sushi and the sashimi, the raw fish, the crabs. Eat it all. You're gonna love it. Mmm! Arigatou gozaimasu! Wow. A true... Tempura bar. Bye bye. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Amazing, guys. And we're going for more. Next up is the iconic bowl of ramen from Osaka. Check it out. And this is it right up here, guys. This restaurant has an interesting name Human Beings Everybody Noodles. It's a shoyu ramen. The line is down the street and it's got a clam broth clam seafood broth. So you can see there's three types of noodles to order here, guys. There's the macro, micro, and the original flavor. Macro is a shoyu, a little bit lighter. This is a shoyu with dark soy sauce, and this is just clear stock. So we're gonna get macro, it's a little lighter, but it also has a clam seafood base, and we're gonna get it with a sliced fatty chashu and a half boiled egg. We've just been waiting in line for an hour, and we're gonna go in any second. Let's go check it out. Oh. And look at what we just got, guys. We got right sitting at the bar, you can see the giant cauldron of stock in the back. This is the most incredible noodle scene, guys. Look at this. We're just boiling away these noodles deep in the cauldron. So I think you just put a little oil in there, and there's the shoyu, guys. That's the dark shoyu. That's gonna be mixed with the seafood stock, and the ramen, and the chashu. There comes the stock. Look at that, guys. Whoa! Oh, and there's the noodle, look at those. Wow, and look at this, guys. We're just slicing that chashu pork. That is the most tender looking pork. Apparently this place is very famous for chashu. Arigato gozaimasu. Wow. Arigato gozaimasu. Number one. Number one. <laughs> yeah. 
This is awesome, guys. Look at this. We're in a local ramen joint, number one on the ramen directory of Osaka. And we just got the most gorgeous looking bowl. And this is just absolutely insane looking. Look at that. Fatty oh, pork. Thick wheat noodles and thin bamboo shoots with a half boiled egg. Nicely sliced, perfectly evenly sliced negi greens. And look over here. This is Ting's bowl. She got the dark shoyu. So it's a little bit stronger. And then over on mine over here, it's lighter with the clam seafood stock. We're just gonna go right in and get that first. Oh, look at that meat just falling apart. We're gonna get that first bite of that meat with the noodle. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oishi, number one. Whoa, it really is all about the pork. That is the most fatty, flavorful pork infused into the stock there. And this broth, it's very elegant, yet it does have a slight seafood flavor as well. With these are, these are wholesome noodles. You can actually see there's like little chunks of wheat in there. So they're very nutritious and dense and almost like a little earthy at the same time. Oh, let's go in another one. Mm. It is all about the fatty pork in there, guys. With those noodles, they're very wholesome. And the stock itself, really, it's not too salty. You just get pure aroma from soy, not too salty, aromatic with fatty pork. And you can see why this is number one, because there's just so many people slurping away, and it's really delicious. Mm. And there's that half-boiled egg. Look at that, guys. There it is. Look at that nice, soft yolk. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, arigato, bye-bye. Bye-bye, arigato gozaimasu. Wow, that is just so satisfying, guys. So smooth, amazing, amazing ramen. That was one of the most amazing experiences, guys, in Osaka. One of the best ramens I've ever had, and I would love to hear what you thought down below, guys. We're continuing the noodle journey. We're going to Kagawa next. Please also click that notification bell as well so you don't miss any of these videos, and consider supporting our channel through the memberships feature on YouTube or Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.